My name is Aaron Lopresti. I've been a comic book artist, a commercial illustrator, and a writer for over 25 years. And this is my YouTube channel. Okay, I've got my trusty pen, my trusty paper, and I'm ready to draw. Um, I gotta tell you, I love uh, I love October because it gives me a great excuse to draw a bunch of um, strange and creepy monsters and characters, which has always been strangely for me my soft spot. I've always been a big fan of the old EC horror comics. And we always joke about how old I am, but I'm not that old that uh, I was around when these things were coming out. Um, I discovered them through collecting and through the price guide and uh, being a fan of Wrightson's um, he was a big fan of this stuff as well and so I, I became exposed to all of this uh, through those avenues um, Probably back in the day also, I was uh, I had a subscription to the Buyer's Guide uh, for comic fandom. And they, uh, they always had a ton of like fanzines and stuff that were, that they were dedicated to the old EC characters and so I'm sure I became exposed to these uh, these comics through through that as well I remember buying my first EC comic at a convention in Portland, probably when I was 16 years old. Um, so, and that would have been 1980. So, I mean, I was well aware of this stuff at a, a young age. My mom could never understand my fascination with monsters and horror. Although I've said this before, I'm not really a big horror fan in the sense of, you know, like Clive Barker and, and stuff that just, you know, is really, can be really sort of unsettling and um, terrifying. I am more a fan of monsters and weird looking stuff, <laughs> which... Uh, because I guess I had a, like a, a strange sort of fascination with the artistry of it all. I love Frankenstein and the old, you know, Universal monster films, not because they were scary, but because the creature designs and stuff were fascinating to me. And to be honest with you, if I didn't like, if I didn't like the uh, design of the makeup, I usually wasn't a big fan of the film. So like Karloff as Frankenstein was a wonderful thing. Uh, but then when other people played Frankenstein, like uh, Glenn Strange or even Bela Lugosi in one film, um, didn't really do much for me. Because um, I just didn't think they looked as good as Karloff did. 
you know, Creature from the Black Lagoon is a great um, character design, monster suit design, uh, however you want to look at that. And that was as, as interesting or as attractive to me as um, anything else about the movies, you know. I mean, I watched, you know, goofy horror films because as a kid, I was a lot more tolerant of crappy special effects. But... It was always the ones that looked the best with the best makeup that sort of intrigued me. If the werewolf looked really cool in the design and the makeup, then I'd watch the werewolf movie. If he didn't, then I wasn't as interested in watching it. So I'm always asking myself, do I really like horror or do I just like cool looking monsters? Um, and I think there is a difference. <laughs> I don't know why I think, you know, things like the old witch here or something are particularly interesting uh, monsters or, you know, but they are to me. In fact, I recently, this past year, just did a cover for the new price guide. Uh, the Overstreet comic book price guide featuring the three old witches from EC. And of course, that just came out this, uh, this past summer, so you can still get a copy at uh, the Gemstone website. You did a horror comic now you, the host would be uh, some hot young witch not an old ugly scary one but but these are much more fun to draw well There you have it, a quick pen sketch of the old witch from EC Comics. Uh, thank you all for watching, I appreciate it. Um, I would kindly ask you to hit the like button and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. All the little buttons that are underneath the screen on the right hand side are all helpful to, uh, to help this channel grow and to help me provide you with more content just like this. We'll see you next time, thank you.